There is an increasing demand for eco-friendly products in the market today and this is precisely what a lot of manufacturers and advertisers are trying to exploit. In this video, let's try and understand what this practice greenwashing is all about. Friends, this is only green and only green is all about making our world a greener place. Greenwashing is a play on the term whitewashing which means using misleading information to cover up a bad behavior. Greenwashing is the process of conveying a false impression or providing misleading information about how a company's products are environmentally sound. Greenwashing is considered an unsubstantiated claim to deceive consumers into believing that a company's products are environmentally friendly. There is a fine line between green marketing and greenwashing. Unlike greenwashing, green marketing is when companies sell products or services based on legitimate environmental policies. Green marketing is generally practical, honest and transparent. However, it is easy for green marketing to translate to greenwashing in practice if a company doesn't live up to the standards of sustainable business practices. Eco-friendly, organic, natural and green are just some examples of the widely used labels that can be confusing or misleading to the consumers. Now let's try and understand how greenwashing works. Also known as green sheen, greenwashing is an attempt to capitalize on the growing demand for environmentally sound products, whether that means they are more natural, healthier, free of chemicals, recyclable or less wasteful of natural resources. Products are greenwashed through a process of renaming, rebranding or repackaging them. Greenwashed products might convey the idea that they are more natural, wholesome or free of chemicals than competing brands. Not all companies are involved in greenwashing. Some products are genuinely green. These products usually come in packaging that spells out the real differences between their contents and the competitors versions. The marketers of truly green products are only too happy to be specific about the beneficial attributes of their products. Just because a company adopts an image for caring for the environment doesn't mean that they have a legitimate interest in being eco-friendly. Because environmentalism has become a trend some businesses may follow along with it for appearances sake. The central danger in greenwashing is that it can mislead people to behave unsustainably. If a company says they are eco-friendly, you may want to buy their products. If these environmental claims turn out to be false, then you have accidentally contributed to harming the environment. More and more people today prefer to buy sustainable products, thus making Eco-friendly claims a very powerful marketing tool. False or misleading branding along these lines could convince a growing number of consumers to harm the environment unintentionally. How do we fight the negative impact of corporate greenwashing? Part of the solution may be effective verification. Groups that verify the validity of a company's sustainability claim could highlight genuinely effective initiatives while pushing out the greenwashers. Accurate and thoughtful criticism of greenwashers can help too. If nothing else, a culture of skepticism can lead companies to provide quantifiable measures to decrease their carbon footprints. The only green businesses that will survive are those who can substantiate and prove their claims. The good news is that greenwashing is becoming less common across small and large businesses alike. A thoughtful consumer base and growing awareness of environmental problems are making industries greener. Friends, please do subscribe to our journey and let's all together make this world a greener place. Thank you.